It's our big story live at six. The owner of two pit bulls that mauled a woman and her toddler could face charges. The attack on the 1100 block of Reber Street in Green Bay sent the child to a Milwaukee hospital for surgery. The dogs were euthanized. NBC 26's Ashley Barnes is live at six with what's next in this case. Stacy, police are still trying to figure out just how the dogs got loose, something the owner says she wasn't even around to allow to happen. As the healing process begins for the family, police work is ongoing. The focus of this investigation is to determine where these animals came from and how they got out of their house. The goal to find out who was responsible for letting the two pit bulls out of the house to attack the mom and son. Once we can determine who is responsible, charges of animal running at large, which is against the city ordinance. When we spoke to the dog's owner Monday, she said she wasn't at home when it happened. And somebody, yeah. while I was gone today, went in the basement and let my dogs out through two doors and in their kennels. And I got a call that my dogs were loose. But police plan to figure it out. Also looking into records to show whether or not the dogs had caused issues before. Something neighbors say had happened. A couple of times the one had gotten loose and fought with the neighbor's dogs and bit it up. And then, because they had three at once, and then they got rid of that one. Police speaking to all those involved, working to get justice. There could also be more serious charges that stem from the incident, but those would be up to the district attorney once the police finish its investigation. Keeping you connected, Ashley Barnes, NBC 26.